Before continuing with the back patterns, I traced the altered cup patterns without seam allowance with a light box. I would like to accomplish the following when I work with the back patterns. Firstly, to make a beautifully shaped back. Secondly, to hide the problematic zones of the client. I will explain it in detail. It is quite often when a client puts on a corset with a low or open back, armpit fat appears over the corset cut. The larger the corset size and the more curvy body your client has, the more armpit fat there is. No wonder that many women want to hide this area and at the same time they want to have an open back. The best solution is the option of the open back with a corner. This additional element will not only cover the problematic area on the back, but flatten it. Therefore, I will start the work with the back patterns with the alteration of this corner. I need to elongate the back patterns, so I glue paper sheets to the top of the patterns. I reviewed drafting of such corners on open backs in my previous courses. However, this problem is important and I will explain briefly about alteration of such corners. There are three additional measurements in the table for alteration of the back corners and the alterations are calculated automatically. We just need to use these calculations and make simple drafting. So, we will use the following additional measurements. Back width. It is the distance between armpits. The measurement is taken as a full measurement, not a half one. Between the back corners, it is the distance between the tops of the imaginary or proposed corners. The measurement is also taken in full length. Back corner height. It is the distance between the waistline to the corner top. As a rule, such corners are on the level of bra straps. We will make the decision if we can shift this corner when we draft the corner on the pattern. It happens quite often that it is better to shift the corner to one side due to peculiarities of the body, for example. Later, we will use one more measurement, back height to determine the depth of the back neckline. To complete the pattern with the corner, I get the back patterns with glued paper and the calculation table and start drafting. On the back central pattern, I elongate the center line, line one, which is perpendicular to the waistline, and draw a parallel vertical line along the utmost top point of the altered pattern with seam allowance, two. On the side back pattern, I draw a perpendicular line toward the waist, three, through the utmost top point of the initial pattern without seam allowance. Some words about the initial measurements in the table. You see that the initial measurements in between back corners and back width are equal and comprise 19 centimeters. So, the question pops up about the 19 centimeters. If the measurements of the client are 25 centimeters for between back corners and 31 centimeters for back width. Let me explain. If we measure the length of the upper cut of the initial pattern of the back center, it will comprise 9.5 centimeters. If we attach the second similar central pattern without seam allowances, we receive 19 centimeters for the upper back cut on the initial pattern. This is the figure I entered into the table as the initial measurements between back corners and back width. All the calculations will be based on this number. 
I reviewed this point in my previous courses and YouTube free tutorials. I will repeat it again. We have absolutely exact automatic calculation. Trust it and everything will turn out well. From the line 3 to the right toward the side, I measure the alteration in the measurement between back corners. 3 centimeters. And draw a parallel vertical line. 4. Now from the waistline 4, I measure the value in back corner height. It is more convenient to use the measurement of the client rather than the calculated alteration. It comprises 27 centimeters without seam allowance. Now we need to consider the alteration in back width. I measure 6 centimeters as indicated in the table from the line 3 toward the side. I draw line 5 which limits the back. This line is the border line of the armpit area. It is exactly from this line where we take the measurement back width. And it is exactly there we have this problematic area, which we want to hide with our corner. I should connect the corner top with the utmost point of the altered side pattern. Using the pattern, I draw a smooth transition line from corner to armpit. We know that in the back within this area there is a problematic spot. Sometimes this problematic area can be located a bit higher. Sometimes this corner should be drafted more closed or shifted toward the arm. You need to be extremely careful. The thing is that women with a fuller bust have a hollow due to the heavy bust, which the bra strap has formed over the years. Perhaps you encountered such cases. When you make this corner, make sure that the strap from the corner is in the same place as the strap of the bra. And in this case, the strap of the corset will be tight in this hollow. However, if you want to hide this place and to slightly move the corner toward the armpit, you should do this thoughtfully and very carefully. In this case, you need to remember that you should make a wider strap from the corset corner so that it is well placed on the shoulder. If you want to leave a thin shoulder strap, there might be a risk that it will not be positioned on the shoulder hollow. Of course, we can assume that the strap will slide toward the neck of the client. But in fact, believe my experience, such a thin strap from the corset corner shifted toward the arm most often falls down to the arm from the sloping shoulder. Therefore, I recommend finding the best solution. If you move the position of the corner to the end of the shoulder to hide this problematic zone, provide the corner for a wider strap. If you leave a narrow strap, be prepared to have problems. I leave the armpit line as it is. I am quite happy with it. Now we need to decide about the beautiful back shape. The back consists of two pieces. However, there are the corsets consisting of three pieces. So how can we join these pieces to have smooth and beautiful transition from one piece to another? Certainly we can use the light box and draw the transition line there. However, there is still a chance that you can make a mistake. 
all mistakes will be visible when the pieces are stitched together, and it will be problematic to make changes. To be honest, I always use the following method. I cut the back patterns with straight and highly elevated upper cuts. Stitch the curves, put it on the client or the dress form, and cut a beautiful shape of the back. In our case, I will do the same. I elongate the altered curve on the back side pattern. Make a perpendicular line through the corner top Draw seam allowances. The pattern is ready for cutting. I elongate the central back pattern for the same value as the side back pattern and add seam allowances. This is how I cut the back patterns. As you can see, the drafting of the corset corner is quite easy. I measure one centimeter from the corner top toward the back center and prepare the place for the strap. The value of this area depends on the selected width of your strap. At this stage, all patterns are ready. If you want to check yourself, Make a mock-up to make sure that all calculations based on your measurements are correct. The table cannot be wrong. If you make a mistake at the stage of taking measurements, you might end up with the incorrect patterns. The mock-up, especially if you put it on the client, will show you everything.